Hello and welcome to Prime at Nine. Promising to place economic stability and confidence at the heart of his government's agenda, newly appointed Pradesh PM Rishi Sunak said that he has been elected to fix the mistakes of his predecessor, Liz Truss. The 42-year-old officially took charge as Britain's first Indian origin prime minister after a meeting with King Charles III on Tuesday. Sunak is one of the youngest and the third prime minister of Britain this year. Making his speech outside the official residence of the UK PM, Sunak said that he would confront the profound economic crisis with compassion and lead a government of integrity, professionalism and accountability. And accepted His Majesty the King's invitation to form a government in his name. It is only right to explain why I'm standing here as your new Prime Minister. Right now, our country is facing a profound economic crisis. The aftermath of COVID still lingers. Putin's war in Ukraine has destabilized energy markets and supply chains the world over. I want to pay tribute to my predecessor, Liz Truss. She was not wrong to want to improve growth in this country. It is a noble aim. And I admired her restlessness to create change. But some mistakes were made. Not born of ill will or bad intentions. Quite the opposite, in fact. But mistakes nonetheless. And I have been elected as leader of my party and your prime minister, in part, to fix them. And that work begins immediately. I will place economic stability and confidence at the heart of this government's agenda. This will mean difficult decisions to come. But you saw me during COVID doing everything I could to protect people and businesses with schemes like furlough. There are always limits, more so now than ever. But I promise you this, I will bring that same compassion to the challenges we face today. The government I lead will not leave the next generation, your children and grandchildren, with a debt to settle that we were too weak to pay ourselves. I will unite our country, not with words, but with action. I will work day in and day out to deliver for you. This government will have integrity, professionalism, and accountability at every level. Trust is earned, and I will earn yours. The NSC and IM has refuted the allegations of the Senior Citizens Association of Nagaland that the Forest Department's establishments in the Indangi National Park in Perrin District have been occupied by the armed organization. The NSC and IM issued a press release on October 25 stating that the park originally belonged to Old Bisumbui village. The NSC and IM claimed spoke of what it called a quote, critical need unquote, to protect the Indangi forest and wildlife that was taken up during the NSCN's National Assembly 1996 and it was resolved to protect and preserve Ndangi forest as wildlife for reserved forest. During an interview given by Ndangi National Parks' director to a media house, there was no indication that the NSCN has engrossed into Ndangi National Park, the organization asserted. 
Further, it stated that the group's Hebron camp is very much within Chalukyekam village's jurisdiction and outside the boundary of Ndangi National Park and not as claimed by the association. The NSC and IM claimed that the Jalukekam village authorities gave permission to the NSC and IM to establish its council headquarters at Hebron camp with the condition that the land will be returned to the owner Jalukekam village in the event of NSCM leaving the place. Further, the statement asserted that it was during the time of Chief Minister S.C. Jamir that Hebron was allocated as ceasefire designated camp and he should be well aware that the camp has nothing to do with Ndangi National Park. In no occasion has the NSC and IM disturbed or caused harassment to the Forest Department in performing its duties, the group stated. The question of Forest Department having to ask permission from the NSCN should never arise, the NSCM I am stated. Several houses and government high school in Pisami village were destroyed as Cyclone Sidrang hit the Kipuri district. Government High School at Pisame Village was forced to close down as the structure of school were blown away by the wind. According to information received, about 15 houses were damaged and a family of 10 members were rendered homeless. Strong wind accompanied by rain in the wee hours for the three hours consecutively between 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. The village authorities have reported the incident to the concerned departments for early intervention and relief. Meanwhile, Extra Assistant Commissioner of Seo Chung Moasina visited the site at Pisame village and after verifications of the damaged site, he will be forwarding the letter for the victims to the disaster management for relief. Rain and strong winds are being reported from Hakomute village near the Indo-Myanmar border under Pungro subdivision of Kipri. According to sources, about 11 houses were damaged. Government school buildings and other occupied settlements were also affected at the village site. Hawa Tango, Harbor, do Tahinaga, a dupartum canace, to inagrina, a do sub Hawabra, Ulta Grina, a do a say, Hakumde Laga, do GPS Government Primary School under Bungo area and Kefri districts, a do last posti lagasi, to Hawaii, a do Siachitan, Sabulina, as you wish, to Kundu Jacade Ulina, say, I mean. ขึ้นอุไลนะสิดูอุดูอปูร์ภาลีสิดูคันเสียชีพขึ้นอุไลนะสิรออปูร์ภาลีบีสิสิดูยาติภาลีมารีบอลีภาลฮอร์เบภา
The heavy winds and rain across the Northeast have affected some crops in the states, including Naglin, as reports say. It, it, it is learned from sources that crops are being damaged in Pak District too. Crops were reportedly damaged at Kehweta Za of Zabami village. Paddy was damaged due to a storm the previous night, updates stated. Assam Chief Minister Himanda Biswa Sarma has broken his silence over the newly inaugurated Mia Museum in the Gualbara district of Assam. Speaking to the media, the Chief Minister stated that the management of the Mia Museum will be propped and may face legal action if they fail to provide a satisfactory explanation on how they have justified the items in the museum belong to the Mia community. Sarma stated that earlier when he spoke about the Mia's poetry, a section of the society remarked it to him as communal, but now Tos people have to look back at the set museum and see for themselves. Mia is a pre pejorative term used primarily by the indigenous communities to mean Bengali or Bengali, Bengal or Bengali origin mu Muslims who have settled down in Assam since the late 1890s, initially brought by the British for commercial farming. এম রফিকুল ইসলাম হাজরি গা সাহেব দেখে তো আমার আদরণি পর্ব এখন চলাই লওয়ার কারণে লগতে ইয়াত উপস্থিত বিভিন্ন অঞ্চলের পরা অহা আমার সংগঠন তথা বিভিন্ন সংগঠন সকল এই অঞ্চলের মাই মুরব্বী সমাজ যুবক বন্ধু সকল মহিলা মা ভন্টি সকল তো আজির উদ্বোধনী সভা মহর আলী সাহাবক এখন আমার মিয়া জনগোষ্ঠীয় গামোছারে Stating that the resolution of the inner line permit and the language resolution passed by the Conrad Sangma led Mekalaya government is eyewash. A conglomerate of NGOs from the Kasi and Jaindia Hills has announced a movement called the Safe Hinindrib Mission with Nine Demands. HYC General Secretary Roy Kubar. Syndrome said they would launch a series of agitations to pressure the state government to fulfill the demands before the election model code of conduct comes into effect. Fellow NGO from uh, Kasi and Janti Hills, which includes uh, HNM, EGNC, and GSM from Janti Hills, as well as the Confederation of Riboy People from uh, Riboy District. We have uh, held a discussion regarding the certain pending issues. Which, are, which is affecting the Hinyokra people as a whole. We have seen that in the year 2019, uh, the government under the leadership of uh, Chief Minister Konrad Sangma has passed two official resolutions, one which uh, is regarding the demand for implementation of ILP in the state of Meghalaya, and the other is the inclusion of the Khasi language in the eighth schedule to the constitution of India. But what we have found is that till then, Two years have already passed. We are coming. Uh, we are going uh, to be uh, in, uh, in in 2023, where there will be an uh, an election, where we will be electing a new government. But yet, these important issues of the Nyotra people are still pending with the central government. So we found that we find that these uh, resolution, which were passed by the Konrad Sangma led government, are only an eyewash. It is only a ploy of the government how to uh, make people, you know, to make, during that time there was protest, there was a lot of protest, but how, but to tame that protest, they're passing those resolution, resolution, but in fact they have no seriousness how to make this issue, if, uh, ILP to be implemented in the state of Meghalaya, as well as Khasi language to be, uh, to be recognized in the age schedule. Three residents of Bihar were caught by members of the public with the help of paramilitary forces in Assam today. They allegedly had a huge quantity of cannabis and were caught from Tarapur of Silchar town in Assam. 35 packets containing 50 kilograms of ganja were allegedly found in their possession. They were identified as one Sikendra Kumar, Etharmendra Kumar and one Arman Cherai. They were reportedly seen roaming with bags in the Tarapur area, raising suspicion among the local populace. When they were stopped and questioned, they reportedly tried to flee from the spot. Police personnel of Tarapur outpost was called in. They arrested the three and registered a case against them. It is learned that they came from Agartala, where they allegedly purchased the contraband and were allegedly heading for Bihar. 
The value of the Kanja in the black market is valued at INR about 20 lakhs. WhatsApp is finally back after witnessing the longest outage in India and other countries as well. Body application as well as the web version is working now and we can send and receive messages. The platform was unserviceable for almost two hours. Earlier today at around 1 p.m., many users across the nation complained on Twitter that they were unable to send or receive messages on the app owned by Meta. As per the tweet of ANI, users are unable to send messages to their contacts since around 1 p.m. ANI also mentioned that the spokesperson of Meta has said, we're aware that some people are currently having trouble sending messages and we're working to restore WhatsApp for everyone as quickly as possible. Meanwhile, Down Detector, a well-known service that records outages across websites and applications, also reported a significant increase with over 25,000 reports of WhatsApp being inaccessible. The 22nd edition of the NSF Martyrs Memorial Trophy concluded on October 24 at the IG Stadium. Newmarket FC lifted the trophy after defeating Ura OV FC 2-0. Nagaland Chief Minister Nipirio was the special guest at the event. Two-time runners-up Newmarket FC champions received a cash award of 2 lakhs and the Martyrs Trophy while runners-up Ura OV from Kohima received 1 lakh 20,000. Altogether, 25 teams, including one from Mikalaya, two from Manipur, four from Chumukedima district, two from Pak district, and 26 teams from Gohima district participated in this year's edition. Speaking at the closing ceremony of the event, Nipirio said that the state government is committed to the empowerment of the youth through sports and games. Naga youths must also get the opportunities of this sector and in doing so achieve excellence at the highest levels and contribute towards nation building, Rio said. Rio added that the sports field today has a lot of avenues that can give employment to youths across the globe. The Chief Minister expressed hope that the teams preparing for the 17 disciplines for the forthcoming North East Olympic Games will perform well and begin a new journey for sports in Nagaland. 24 Barkanas, West Bengal. A child was killed in an explosion near the railway tracks in Padbara of West Bengal. A child died while another child and a woman were injured in the explosion, reports on October 25 stated. 
The injured were admitted to a hospital after the blast that happened today. A bomb disposal team was called and one life bomb was found, said S. Pandey, DC North Zone, Paragpur. A probe is on, said S. Pandey. आज सुबह साढ़े छः बजे के आसपास यहाँ एक्सप्लोजन हुआ था धमाका हुआ था जिसमें पता लगा कि एक बच्चे को इंजरी हुआ बाद में वो बच्चा अपने इंजरी से सरवाइव नहीं कर पाया बच्चा मारा गया और एक बच्चा का हाथ इंजोर्ड हुआ है हाथ में इंजरी हुआ है तो बच्चा उस दूसरा बच्चा ट्रीटमेंट में है और भी एक कोई महिला इंजोर्ड हुई है वो भी ट्रीटमेंट में है बाकी हम लोग जो बेसिक एविडेंसेस कलेक्शन करके अपना इन्वेस्टिगेशन स्टार्ट किए अब बी की टीम आई है अब बोल रहे सी का जो बी डी बॉम्ब डिस्पोजल टीम आई है वो लोग सर्च कर रहे हैं एक लाइव लाइव बॉम्ब तो मिला है हम लोगों को और हम और भी देख रहे हैं कि और भी ऐसा कोई पड़ा हुआ है कि नहीं उसको देख के तीन महीने के बाद ऐसा है कि जब जब जो भी इन्फॉर्मेशन मिला है आप लोगों को पता होगा भाटपुरा जगदल में बहुत सारा बॉम्ब रिकवरी भी हुआ है तो घटनाएँ हम ये नहीं कह रहे हैं कि मतलब घटी हैं और क्या होगा हम ये नहीं हम लोग को जब जब जैसे एक्शन जैसा होता है जैसे कि जब जब आपको पता है कि पिछले तीन महीने में बहुत सारे बॉम्ब रिकवरी भी हुए हैं जगदल में भी हुए हैं भाटपाड़ा में भी हुए हैं तो जहाँ जहाँ इन्फॉर्मेशन होता है हम लोग उस पर काम करते हैं अब ये इंसिडेंट हुआ है किसने बदमाशी किया है क्या किया है हम लोग उसका छानबीन करके Security has been increased in Coimbatore with rapid action force personnel deployed across the city on Tuesday following the incident in which a man was charged to death in a car explosion triggered by an LBG gas cylinder blast. The RAF has been deployed to carry out search and security operations across public areas like bus stands and railway stations. Coimbatore City Police late on Monday night arrested five men after a man was burned to death when the car he was in, a gas cylinder, fitted inside the car, exploded at Uka Dam near the famed Sangmasewar Temple in the city on Sunday morning. The seer of Sri Kanchukal Pandemut Pasavalinga Swami was found dead in a room of the mud in Ramnagara district, police have informed. The police officials suspect that the seer had an unnatural death. A two-page death note was found in the room of the mud in Ramnagara district where the Pondif's body was found yesterday after an unnatural death, said Gudur police officials. According to police sources, a group of people was mentally harassing Basavalinga Swami over an audio conversation with a lady. A case has been registered in connection with the matter at a Gudur police station and investigations are underway. That's all for now. Keep watching Hornbill TV.